Yo, yo, we are back in After Effects. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create this floating lightning effect. To be honest, I don't really know what to call it, but it looks so fire. So this is how we do it. So in my timeline, you can see this clip right here, which I'm gonna add the effect on. So firstly, start by going to the tracker on the right side and hit track camera to track your camera. And you can even go to advanced and set it to detail analysis. So we have more points. And after that, in your scene, you can see this track point my footage is kind of low resolution so i didn't get whole bunch of track points to play with but still i'm gonna select these track points right here and right click and hit create solid and camera and it should create a solid right here which is tracked to our scene that's perfect we don't really need this right now so we're gonna hide this for now like that so now our camera tracking is done we're gonna start making the lightnings so to make those lighting effects i'm gonna take my pen tool and draw some strokes that kind that resembles your lightning position so something wavy like this so after this go over to the top and holding alt in your keyboard just click on the fill few times until it get removed as you can see and if your stroke is disabled too you just gotta click few times and it will enable it so like that bring up the pixels so something like that so we have this like normal stroke going on maybe that's too thick so i'm gonna set it to like seven yeah that's perfect right there then selecting your shape layer i'm gonna turn on my 3d on that and remember we made the track solid so i'm gonna pull up the position of the track solid and pull up the position of my shape layer as well and i'm gonna copy the g value of the track solid into my shape layer so it's like tracked perfectly as you can see you can even hit like Control alt home in your keyboard to make the track point on the center and just bring up the size of it i'm gonna put it at this side at this corner and now if you take a look you can can see the stroke is tracked to our footage that's exactly what we want before getting more into the video i just want to let you know i just dropped my ultimate 3d title bundle which comes with my latest pack 3d decks and title preset and one of my og pack the 3d title pack you already know the bundle allows you to add some crazy titles for your music video in just few clicks and also when you buy the bundle it's 28 dollar off so it's a steal for real i'll link it in the description if you want to check it out back to the video maybe i'm gonna position it somewhere around here in the beginning and bring up the size as well nah that's too much let's just put it around here maybe even you can like stretch it if you want so now you can start making duplicates of this stroke so i'm gonna duplicate it and flip it like something like that and put it at this corner one right here in here rotate it something like this and you can even play with the stretch so it's not stretched like that maybe something like that you can even play with the size maybe something like here scale it up rotate it so you have like two of those maybe you can even take your pencil and edit this part so you can add like new points on here so you can add like some new points in the end to make it a bit different i think i'm gonna stretch it as well like this one thing i also like to do is animate them so hit the stopwatch in the position and put this at the end and at the first frame just bring up the position of it so it's on like the top and it slowly comes down like that you can do the same thing with this one let's just do like a bit lower at the beginning and as it goes bring it up nah i don't like the animation of this maybe i'm gonna put this over here and go over to the end and bring up the amount so it also floats and i like to add like one more in the background to add in the background you just kind of like rotoscope which i'm gonna do it on the end but i'm gonna add one in the background as well so you can also like flip it after duplication and place it something like that maybe i'm gonna rotate it something like this yeah this looks perfect right now maybe i'm gonna bring up the size of my other strokes to 10 also make this a 10 so it's a bit thicker so after you do this i like to hide my two duplication so it's only one stroke right here and add some effect on this to make it look like lightning so firstly i like to add a turbulence displacement and lower down the size to 6 amount to 122 and for the 
displacement, set it to ball smoother. Then we're gonna add another turbulence displacement. And for this, I'm gonna lower down the size to somewhere around 50. So like 59 would work. And bring up the amount to somewhere around 150. Now after the turbulent displacement, you can see the crazy displacement happening. But it's still not perfect. So another thing that I like to add is a heat wave to top it off. It looks so cool with this. So bring up the heat intensity on here. If you don't already know, this is a plugin by Universe. So make sure you have it. And you can go to distort size and you can play with the size as well if you like. So now as you can see, we already getting the look. Now we are gonna add a glow to add that crazy glow in it. So firstly, I'll start with a deep glow. If you don't have deep glow, you can use the normal glow and a tim to change the color. Also, you can use a optical glow, it's totally dope as well. But for now, in deep glow, I'm gonna bring up the radius to somewhere around 400 to 500 and lower down the amount to like 50. And to add that color, we're gonna go to tint. Just enable it and set the color to something like a green. I'm going with a green now. And here in mode set it to overlay and lower down the mix as you can see now our lighting looks so cool but you can see our background is kind of black so i'm gonna go to unmold and hit required for text and it should remove it and now now here in your clip you can see it looks so cool so for the duplications you just gotta like copy these and enable it and just paste it on there so after copying the amount, you can see all of our strokes looks like lightning. But as I told you, I want one of these strokes right here in the background, which is this one, the stroke 3. So I'm going to duplicate my main video clip, which is this, the scary block. So just hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. I'll take my road brush tool and just rotoscope him out. So a simple rotoscope. After you're done rotoscoping, make sure to freeze it as well. So it locks in our rotoscope. After freezing is done, go over to the composition panel and enable all of your shape layers and select the shape layer which you want behind the subject. So I'm going to drag it down. So it's between our rotoscope layer and our background layer. Maybe I'm going to reposition it because I'm not a big fan of the position right now. So something like this. As you can see, I made some adjustment on the lighting of the position of it, but now we are almost done. Done. but the thing i like to do with this is add some finishing touches so i'm gonna pre-comp all of these first so pre-comp now in this pre-comp i like to add a curves to master it all a simple s curve on it would look really hard as you can see it looks so hard bro and after if you have sapphire you can add like a sapphire glint on it and then go over to the brightness and lower down the brightness a bit go to size details and lower down every other size besides size x so all of these also in size red and size blue lower it down and make sure your size green is on one percent or if you're making it a different color you can play with the color size but now i'm gonna lower down the amount a bit more after that you can see you get this like anamorphic flare i really love it and in here i like to add a little overlay which is this right here it's a simple image of a lens flare you can download this type of overlay straight from google but i'm gonna drag it into our clip now and i'm gonna set the blending mode to screen of it and then add like a triton on it and make it a solid green you can even make the highlights the green too or to something like that so hit t on the keyboard to bring up the opacity hit the stop button there go over to the beginning lower it down to zero go over to the end lower it down something like that and after all to finish it off i'm gonna add an adjustment layer and add a little sick from my sick bag so i'm gonna open in this up and i'm gonna use the best one as always this is the best sick ever i'm gonna line it up in the beginning right there i just feel like the sake really has the energy that we needed if you want to download this the link will be in the description it's a totally dope pack but anyways my final reel looks something like this so that's it for today's video guys if you like this video please consider hitting the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this you can even follow my instagram join my discord server i'm really active in there i'm in the vc most of the time so you can also ask me some questions and stuff in there but anyways see you in the next video peace